tomatoes ended up over here because my mom's dad something inside. It was about reproductive rights. Hello, hello! Welcome to my studio vlog. I am Jenny. Um, I am the future me, which means like what you'll see next is the past of my life. So from the opening, you'll see that I actually got a PO box, and I will be leaving the PO box information down below in my description box. I was really excited to open up my PO box because I was having a few art trade and I purchased some art from my friends and the first one that arrived was Karen's and I will be opening this in later on the video. I just wanted to share this moment and in this video I'll be creating some new products. I made a polymer clay charm no, it's not a charm, it's a polymer clay pin because I really wanted to make something different from stickers and prints and I'm planning on having a bakery series shop update in September. I know I've said that I would be having a shop update each month but I still realize that it's kind of too frequent because I don't want my vlogs to be like shop update, packing order, shop update, packing orders. I kind of want more variety of stuff that I do and also I wanted to try out something new every time. I'll cut my shop update plans a little bit wider. I will be showing you partially of how I made the polymer clay pins and probably in the next video I'll be having a more final touch of the product so yeah please enjoy the progress welcome to my little life my little studio my little boring artist life so I drew this yesterday and I'm planning on making some polymer clay of Rocky the cookie. This is like a small brainstorm. I was thinking about what would it be like if they had a bakery and I don't know why I came up with this idea of Lou pushing, he's literally squishing Rocky inside the dough and Rocky is in charge of making different like expressions to make the different kind of varieties of cookies. So this is the Lou Bake Shop. Watch me suffer on drawing Fursiose's proportions because I haven't drawn her in a long time and I kind of got lost about how to draw her. But anyways, it's like that and the this is the progress of the full art. Fast forward. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put this mat underneath to avoid ruining the table. So I once thought that this jar was really ugly because this bright red cap, but I realized this was a really traditional Taiwanese plastic jar, so it's kind of cute in some ways because usually this kind of jar is like this big and like stored for other kind of food materials. So being this small is actually really unique and it was originally for plums. I don't like plums, so I'm glad it didn't have any like the smell left. Okay, so let's do this. When you're not here, the sun don't shine. When you're not near, I don't feel like I do when you're with me. I use these pastel for making the baked effect. I got this when I was in middle school. I probably wouldn't recommend it because the variety of colors is not really much. Like, I mainly use these two and a little bit of these two. Probably because, like, they have a more bigger range of blue, purple, and green. I rarely make polymer clays out of these colors. Oh, wait. The film just sink down without rising up. 
We had a small family dinner in Thursday and we went to the night market. I got some sweet potato balls. These are my favorite treats in night market. Um, there's a funny thing is that their logo was literally Spongebob but changed into a potato but they were claiming that there was copyright and do not copy. So there was two kind of sweet potato balls. There are one, small ones and large ones. Small ones are more chewy and large one is more crispy. This is a small explanation of a Taiwanese traditional tree. So maybe next time you visit, you could go grab one. The name is literally Happy Sweet Potato Ball. Just look at me.
finished with this piece of polar bear fishing. I like the clouds here. I used a little purple and pink shade, which was an uh, inspiration from the pink summer skies. Hi, so today is Wednesday and I am invited to do a podcast today. So the podcast is from a group of Taiwanese creators. Like the podcast would be in Mandarin, but I'll still leave a link down below if I if it comes out before this video. But uh I'm kind of nervous because I'm not really good at talking to people or like explaining my work to people in Mandarin. It's kind of funny because Mandarin is my first language, but I don't really talk about work in life. Like I don't really share a lot about myself with friends and I'm really shy. Like I'm seriously, I'm really shy and um I, although I do vlogs and I might seem really brave to share stuff but I'm literally talking to a camera so it doesn't really count as socialing <laughs> but anyways I'm going to review the questions and probably get ready before the podcast starts let's go I should draw or something like to relax although I'm like super bad at multitasking Hi Hi Hello 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 I'm Jaycee I'm Oh Oh I'm I'm Oh 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 I'm
And if you're asking me about the mint, I'm sorry I couldn't save her. <laughs> Cries and tears, but we have a lot of new buddy here. These are uh, black beans, black soybeans, and they look fine. I don't know how it would be later on, but I just hope that everything is okay. And I originally have a tomato here. My mom literally just stabbed this into my tomato pot. And I think it's a revenge for me shoving up her mint. <laughs> Aurelia and my two tomatoes ended up over here because my mom stabbed something inside, but yep. I already opened this mail from Karen. I actually ordered from her last time because she was having a really special uh, shop update. There was a lot of artists that collabed together. So this was a collab, fundraiser collab. It was about reproductive rights. Um, the artists are, this is Karen Tofu Pals. This one is Mando's Bake Shop, which is Miranda. This one is by Albuvion. Her name is Kathy. This one is also by her. And this one is by Flurry. I hope I'm pronouncing it right because I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'll just leave like the name down below. This one is by Library Art, which is Stephanie. So these are the artists that co-work together on this fundraiser. And I really like all of like different styles. Oh, it's so cute. And Karen gave me this Lou and Palm. It's from my Draw This In Your Style 1K. For me, this is so precious. <laughs> and I got some more stickers. I used to be a big fan of matte surface stickers, but I recently found out that glossy ones really have different vibes and I, I love it. I remember I ordered two palms and she she snuck in more <laughs> than I ordered. I was going to stick this on my SSD, but these buddies are a little bit too large. I think it would go off the edge, so I'm going to turn it for you guys. I also purchased some transparent stickers from her. These ones, and I, l I personally love this bear so much. Ah, the bees are like looking at each other. Maybe I should stick it on the first page. Ooh, so cute. I'm going to stick a palm on top of my sketchbook cover because I, I'm a big fan of palm. Yay! I'm going to show off my sketchbook because I have a palm on top of it. <laughs> Hi, Carl. 